I want to show you exactly how to create a YouTube channel from scratch step by step so you don't miss anything because there's a bunch of hidden settings when you create a channel and if they're set up wrong they're a little bit hard to find and correct and I made a ton of these mistakes when I started creating my first channel so hopefully I could cover everything in this short video so you don't have to repeat the same process in the future and everything will be in a seven step process everything will be linked in the description as well including ton of different resources to grow your channel after you get it going. Let's jump in. The first thing you want to do is go to youtube.com and press sign in right here. If you already are signed in, go ahead and log out because there's something in the sign in page that I want to show you. And you could actually have multiple different Google and YouTube accounts too. So it doesn't hurt to just create one from scratch the right way. Now it's going to bring you to this page and it's going to ask you to sign in. Now, if you have a Google account, for example, if you have a Gmail, or if you've used Google Drive, like Google Docs or Google Sheets, you already have a Google account, so you could go ahead and type in your Gmail or email here, or your phone number to sign in. But if you've never created a Google account before, you could press create an account, and then you could create one from here. So you have three options for personal use, business, or your work. Now they're gonna take you to the same page, but they're gonna have some settings that are gonna be different later on. I usually will choose my personal, if you're doing a personal YouTube channel, if you're doing this for your business, choose business. Now here you're gonna create your Google account. Now Google owns YouTube, that's why this is all done through Google. So you're gonna go ahead and sign up with your first and last name and your email address, and you could actually create your Gmail address from here too, from scratch, if you don't have one. Now, this is not gonna be your channel name. All that's going to be a little bit later. This is based on your Google account. Now, as soon as you sign in, if you press this icon up here, you could create a channel from here. If this text right over here says your channel, that means at some point you already created a channel. And that's okay, I'll show you how to make a second channel. You could actually have many channels under the same Google account, not just one. But this account actually doesn't have any, that's why it says create a channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a channel from here and I'll show you all the important settings inside of creating a channel. Now for step two, you need to name your YouTube channel. So this could be your personal name, your business name, or you could come up with something creative. I have different videos on how I pick my names. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this Tube Mentor. It's going to be YouTube Tutorials. And the handle, this has to be unique. So if someone else has taken this, you need to type in something else. So I'll choose two mentor tutorials, for example, and then I'm gonna go ahead and create my channel. So now there's a bunch of settings that I wanna cover, but right now your channel is created. So if you press this icon, you're gonna see your channel instead of create a channel. So this is where you could basically go inside of your channel. But if you were to go to the settings tab right here, you could add channels from this page as well. So if I was to add a channel, it's gonna take me to this page and I could create another channel. This would be a second channel. I have accounts that have six different channels under the same Google and YouTube accounts. But right now, let's look at some important settings you have to set up. Click this profile icon again and go to YouTube Studio right over here. And I'm gonna press continue here. Basically, YouTube Studio, is the back end of your YouTube channel. Basically, you only have access if you're logged into your channel to see what's going on with your YouTube channel. But some important settings I wanna show you here. Go to the left side, and right now the first thing I wanna do is I wanna to go to the settings tab on the very bottom of the page. This is step three, verifying your YouTube channel. So if you go under general here, you could actually change the default unit. But right now, I wanna to go to channel over here, and I wanna to go to this third tab things that I'm eligible for. And by default, this is enabled as soon as you make a YouTube channel. So you could actually have a free YouTube channel and you could actually upload videos, create playlists and so on. What's not available to you yet is this one, intermediate options that are going to require you to verify your channel. If I press this drop down, it's going to ask me to verify my phone number. Now, what this allows me to do is it allows me to make videos that are more than 15 minutes live stream, and more importantly, custom thumbnails. Custom thumbnails, if you go to youtube.com, basically the images you see for each video, someone decided to upload that picture as the thumbnail. It wasn't something YouTube created. So that's what custom thumbnails are, and they're very important. One of the best ways to get views, I have a ton of tutorials on how to create these from scratch. 
But if you don't have these, it's gonna be really hard to grow your YouTube channel. So verify your number. And all you have to do for that is you get a text verification or a call verification, type your number, get the code, and get that channel verified. And there's also a third option. One of the main reasons I'm updating this video for this year is this advanced options are going to let you do a lot more here, like applying for monetization, for example, if you wanna get paid for uploading videos to YouTube. So this one you could do later on. Right now we could do custom thumbnails, upload if you did step one and two, which was really only step two. So you could do this later, but don't forget this because it's gonna unlock a lot more. And a couple more settings I'll show you. On the same tab here on basic info, you wanna pick your country of residence. So choose that from the list. And then for keywords, basically, let's say someone's searching for something on YouTube and you want your channel to be associated with that. So you could type that in here. So like growing on YouTube and you just press enter after each one, pick about three or four different things off the top of your head here, and then you could save it from over here. And one more thing that I have to point out before we go to customization, again, back to the settings tab here. And if you go to the channel option, okay, go to advanced settings. And here under the advanced settings under audience, there's a legal setting you have to set up. And that says, do you make videos for kids? Set this channel as made for kids, or do you not make videos for kids? You have to choose one, or you could review this every time you upload a video if you were going to change this up. I definitely don't make videos for kids, so this is an obvious choice for me, and I'm gonna go ahead and set that up here. And everything else here, I leave on default. I'm gonna go ahead and press save here. Those are the options you have to set up inside of YouTube settings in step three. Step four is all about channel customization. So let me show you exactly what I mean by that. On the left side, there is an option called customization, not settings, but inside of customization, you have three different tabs here. So let's get started with this option. The first thing I wanna show you is under basic info in this step, and here is where you could actually change your YouTube channel name. So you can only do this twice every 14 days. You can't constantly change your YouTube channel name. You definitely don't wanna do that anyway, but you can change it. So if I don't want, want to mentor, I could go ahead and change it. The handle you could also change, but this is a unique handle for your channel. So if you change it, someone else could grab it. Okay, so make sure you don't do that often as well. Description, you wanna tell people what your channel is about. That's gonna show up in the about section of your channel. So type in a couple of sentences here. Your channel URL, this is basically just a URL you could share with people, but nowadays this is a better link to share with people is basically this link here, similar to a channel URL, just a lot cleaner. And then down here, you have something called links. So if you add a link, you could send people to a website, for example, or other social media platforms like Instagram. Now you could have up to five. So if you want all five to show up, you could add five here. So let me just show you if I was to put a website here, I could go ahead and do that. And then I could go ahead and add that link and add a second link. Now, every time I make changes to this basic info, I do have to press publish right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press publish so it actually does save that. Anytime I could press view the channel to see everything of included in my channel. So now if I go to the about page, I could see that website link appearing over here. The about section too, or the description will show up over here as well. Now let's go back to customize channel again. Again, under basic info, on the very bottom, you also want to add a contact info. This is just an email address. Now I highly recommend you choose a different one than the one you use to log into your YouTube account just the one you created right now, for example, because this is public facing. You don't want your login email to be showing up. So I usually create a different one. Now let's go to step five. It's all about branding. So this tab branding has three sections to it. You have your profile picture, which I did not upload in the beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and press upload now. And then you'll be able to choose something from your desktop. Now let me show you exactly where I get my profile pictures. There's this platform called Playset that I have linked below as well in the resources section. And basically with this, all you have to do is type in your channel name here, choose a category. So YouTubers is actually a category, but they have a ton of different ones. And then it's gonna just give you a bunch of different options over here, right? So if you like one of them, all you have to do is click on it right here and you could completely customize it. And then you don't even have to subscribe. This is a subscription platform, but you could just download one of these, pay for just the one, 
by pressing download once you customize it. And they have a ton of options, just makes it really easy. If you have some design skills, obviously you don't have to go this route and you could create one from scratch on your own. But this is already in the right shape and size and you could go ahead and download it and upload it over here under the pictures tab. Same thing with banner images. I'll show you my main channel here. So the banner image shows up over here. So you could actually upload it this way too. It looks different on TV, it looks different on phone, and it looks different on your desktop. But that will show up over here. You can see my profile picture showed up over here that I've created. And a really easy to use platform for creating those banners is Canva. So Canva, also has a free option, but if you wanted to remove backgrounds on your pictures and things like that, they do have a premium option as well. But they have a lot of templates, so if you don't have design skills, you could just kind of click on these templates. I just searched for YouTube banners. I have hundreds of templates to choose from. I could go ahead and click on any section, customize, put my own name. So if I was to just put Tube Mentor here and type in everything else and you know delete different items here if I don't like them and save it. And it's designed for TV, desktop and mobile. So you just basically go ahead and download the same one right here for all and you just upload it back over on your YouTube customization tab over here. And then there is a watermark. Basically when you watch YouTube videos in the corner like a subscribe icon could pop up into the video and you could decide if you want to upload that. I have it on my channel so you probably could see it in the corner of this video and you could subscribe to the channel just from here. Makes it really easy to get subscribers if you add this watermark. For step six, let me show you layout here. So for channel trailer, that's the first thing you'll see. If someone hasn't subscribed yet to your channel, they jump into your channel, you can make like a one minute video just talking and telling people what the value of your channel is for them in order for them to subscribe. So this is a video you could add. Featured video, you could basically get one video to show up for people that are already subscribed to your channel. So maybe your best video shows up here. We haven't uploaded one, so we don't have that, but I wanted to show this to you so you could come back and set these two up. Now this featured section, you could also do later, but what I recommend is you set up these couple of things right now, and then later you could customize it when you make five or six videos. But here, I'll show you what mine looks like again on my channel. So if you go to my channel on the home tab here, just a Halfinity channel that you're watching this on, you could see I added a playlist section here for YouTube tutorials, so they show up right on top, that's what I focus on mainly. Instagram and TikTok tutorials on content creation shows up here. And my popular uploads, big videos with millions of views show up over here. So the way I did that is under channel customization, I actually removed this section and I removed this section and I start from scratch. I added a section on single playlists, that was my YouTube one. And then you wanna do your popular video, so that shows up number one, right? Some of your best videos show up number one. If you make YouTube Shorts, I have a dedicated video about YouTube Shorts, but those are the vertical videos that show up on YouTube as well that are about 60 seconds. You could add those as well. And really come back after you make a few videos, customize that, and then make sure every time you make changes, press Publish, or it won't remember anything you did. So press Publish every time, and then you could view your channel from here. And before I show you the last thing, couple of important resources I'll point out here. One is, Right over here, I have this plugin called TubeBuddy. Now, if you're new to YouTube, I recommend you use TubeBuddy because YouTube is a powerful search engine, but you have to know how to actually create videos that have the right keywords and the right title where they show in search. This video you probably found exactly that way, and I used TubeBuddy for that. So I clicked on Keyword Explorer. By the way, this is a free plugin for Chrome. I have the paid version of it because I use this all the time. So you may want to upgrade at some point, but the free version does get you a lot to get going. And all I did was how to grow on YouTube. For example, I typed that in. I could press explore over here. And what it does is based on YouTube and Google search, it's going to give me a ton of different suggestions on the title for my upcoming videos, or it's going to tell me, hey, this one has a very good chance of being ranked in search. So you should make that. Sometimes it's gonna show you this as a poor chance of ranking in search. So then I'll go down this list and I'll click on a different one like this. And I'll see if this one has a better chance, right? This one has an excellent chance now. So maybe this is a better video title I should focus on. And then I could go from there. There's a tab for video topics and there's Google search tab as well. So you wanna actually look into this 
to come up with video titles for yourself. Very easy to use. And this is just a very small part of what TubeBuddy could do. They have a ton of different options, but Keyword Explorer is a good place to get started for a brand new YouTube channel to come up with channel ideas. And the very last step is if you go to dashboard, here is where you can basically get a big picture overview on what's going on with your channel, your subscribers, your views, they all show up over here. And to upload a video, you just press upload a video and select a video that you've already created. If you've never created a video, what I recommend is check out my full in-depth video. I have an hour free training that's all about growing a YouTube channel from scratch. You could use this for your business. You could do this to monetize a personal YouTube channel. It really lays out a step-by-step -step process on how to do that, including some techniques on creating videos the right way so they could actually get views. So that is included for free in the description along with all the different resources I mentioned in the video to really make it easy to find everything in one place. And hopefully you could have a lot of success with this new YouTube channel. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time.